right on my feet. Look it, Claw. Sapper's here. Unless you've got another reason to be here. Feck sight. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Messenger. If the boss finds out I gave her a hard time, that's me done. Oh, right. Beg pardon. Got to give all the visitors the old squinty eye, you know. Uh, go on in and have a drink for me, eh? Who? If he ain't one of us and if he's here, he's down in the pits. Sounds rancid. Let's see if we can get him out of there. Ha! Depends who you are. We're celebrating a raid. No better time in camp than this. Get yourself a bit of fun before it dries up. Rip the guts out of Joaquin's rest, we did. Inns are good for gutting. Lads even captured some Duke. Worth celebrating, that is. Stop fidgeting. Come on! Oh, fleas from the bloody walls. More likely you gave them fleas, you filthy bugger. All nor her arm clean off. So much for the flaming fish day. Eh? You ain't here. We sacked Joaquin's rest and left it to burn. Drow flinging magic. No snapping off heads. In's nothing but a pile of ash by now. Glorious. Bunch of prisoners got towed to Moonrise. City snobs mostly. But the flaming fist? Pile of smoking corpses. You ain't know the broken road? Meh. <laughs> I'll tell you real slow like, so you don't miss it. No. Looking at a future true soul, you are. Boss Ragslin says I'm next in line. Try it. 
tribe! is irresistible. You recognize the overwhelming authority that you've used on others, only infinitely stronger, and turned against you. Your vision clouds, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape, nothingness in every direction. Then there are three figures before you, an armored male elf exuding power and command, a handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile. And a pale young woman with even paler eyes. These are my chosen. They speak for me. Aid their search for the prison, and you will be worthy to stand beside them. In my... from the artifact, lifting the pain from you, pushing the voice away. My power grows. My forces gather. The reckoning draws here. Don't give me that look. I don't know what just happened any more than you do. We should keep going. Nice one, Shadowheart. That thing in your pocket seems powerful as hell. Perhaps. But whatever it was, I don't want to experience it again. I don't know. Not exactly. All I know is it's important I get it back to Baldur's Gate. At any cost. I... I am a servant of Shah. My home is a secret cloister in Baldur's Gate. I need to bring that artifact back there. No matter what. I can't tell you any more. This mission required utmost secrecy. We all submitted to having our memories suppressed so that we couldn't betray Shah's confidence. If I reach my contact in the city, I'll have my memories restored. Until then, I have to guard the artifact with my life. There. You have the truth, for all it's worth. Let's continue. Heavens forbid. We're all entitled to our secrets. No need to thank me. This is out of pure necessity. Pure desperation, in fact. There's nothing more I can tell you. All I remember is that I have to get back to my contact in the city. A powerful artifact indeed, to have caught the attention of so many. Not least the Absolute itself, the three figures in the vision, the Chosen are searching for it. With the cultists' aid, it will not be long before they find it. Before they find you. You have evaded them so far, thanks, it seems, to the artifact itself. But how long can such protection last? Shadowheart has made her position clear. She will see that it is taken to its destination, at any cost. But you still do not know what it even is. Trust me, I'll guard it with my life. 
Let's keep going. Sounds like they've captured themselves a Goblin kind will tease you and frown you when ready. His name you look like you got something jingling in your pocket. Looking to spend it. Moving. I've got other customers. Mountains, great mortals, all kin. The true souls are coming. The loudest part. Oh. The strange. That car. Hello, my father and mine. Wings. Great glory. Reckon it can fly. No. Draw right Too fat. With fragulous crown and with scepter a braid. Draw Ragslin, short work of the innkeeper. Made. Yeah. The inn burnt to ash. The captives were many. Goblin kind had reduced them to cowering filfenny. So raise it, your goblets, and drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin, the true soul, had led you gallant. <laughs> Friend of yours, you up to something? Oh, certainly not. What are you doing? I'm busy here. You lying? To you? Never. Come, let's continue our ballad. <coughs> uh, draw Ragslin, uh, draw Ragslin. Um, uh, um, uh, I am. Um, it's raw raxlin, um, um, tumptuous, uh, draw raxlin, uh, um. You broke him! Wait, wait, draw raxlin, we play, we... Come on, pigeon, back to your cage. Now, look what you've done. Oh. Of course, man. My name's Gribbo, idiot. Right, yes. Not fool me. Bring me back. What's holding up the game? Our bear ain't dead, is it? Oh, too fat. Dragons is fat and they fly by. For the last time. That one. Bloody arm is killing me. Ears to the best sedative there is. Booze. I think I heard this. Hey, hey! You ain't rounding me up for no raid. No way. I'm drinking. Yeah, is to the absolute. That is all. You peckish. Didn't figure dwarves for cannibals, but you're welcome to have a bite when he's done. Just how dwarves is. Probably should have shaved him before cooking him. 
prefer human meat myself. Juicier. <laughs> One of his mates was a tasty looking long pig. But he ain't ready for the spit yet. Lads have got him inside for questioning. <laughs> Druids are all beardy and woodsy, ain't they? This lot were a scabby gang of tomb robbers. Had a big old war there with them, though. Took five of our meanest lashes to chain it up. We'll beat the fight out of it and make it one of our own. <laughs> Enjoy poking holes in people, do ya? <laughs> He's inside. Keep to the right and follow the screams. <laughs> We have to find Halcyon before it's too late. I doubt these goblins care much for their prisoners' welfare. Let's hope we find him in one piece. Oi! Ain't no party in here! We're doing the absolute's work. State your business, now. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. true souls. Those types don't even bother to wait. Well, I didn't say that. But you'll need to be more specific, mate. Absolutes blessed us with free. You here to see Priestess Gut, Boss Ragslin, or the Drow? Audience is right. She's an uppity one and no mistake, but she knows her business. She's in telling the war chiefs what's what. Next raid's gonna be a big one, I hear. Oh, come on now. Saluna. As if mingling with a horde of goblins wasn't bad enough. Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. Quite the understatement, but yes, let's not linger in this place any more than necessary. in my pigeon. He's mine. Keep him safe. Listen to him coo. Till I get hungry or some such. What's it to ya? As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. This 
Swanger better not go yapping about my pigeon. I should have turned him over to Mindora by now, but he's such a nice little pigeon. What? Oh, oh, I ain't. Minthora, don't give a cake what you think. Bah, just take him if you care so much. See if he'll sing for the likes of you, though. Does he think? Here's the key. Pigeon's all yours. <laughs> Look at this. I'm quite saved. A joy to see a familiar face in such a precarious setting. I guarantee the story of your daring rescue of my person will live on for eons. I intend to do just that. A trusty invisibility potion goes a long way in a place like this. <laughs> we mustn't tarry, but I hate for our friendship to end here. Please, won't you meet me once we've both slipped the goblin yoke? Smashing! Soon, my friend. Soon we can share the flagon of something liquid and a tale of daring do. I'll slip away when the coast is clear. See you soon, my friend. I simply can't wait to pick your brain! You look like you could kick the ass of half the scrubs in here. Bunch of drunken layabouts. Nor me, though. I'm hard as they come. And I'm itching for another fight. Drow studying the war map. Trying to figure it out. You should talk to her. Get the kill and start it quicker. Greetings, child. I've met few aside from goblins here. You recognize the Scourge. This man is a follower of Leviathar, goddess of pain. Ah, are you also here to assist with the prisoner? I was invited to teach them some of my techniques. I live for pain and its intricacies, you see. But, alas, these goblins seem to thrive on the crude and primitive. Pain without purpose is a terrible thing. Wouldn't you agree? You know the Maiden of Pain. How refreshing. But there is more to us than that. Yes, we worship her through pain, often our own, but it is an intimate and loving thing, one we offer up. If you would permit it, I can show you firsthand. Go ahead. I'm sure you're in need of a little penance. Oh, I have something exquisite in mind. Both Loviatar and I are interested in how you handle pain, dear one. And should you delight her, you will most assuredly receive her most gracious blessing. Trust me. Simply face the wall and we can begin.
Yes, this will do nicely. The pain you suffer will cleanse you. Do not fight it. Interesting is an understatement, dear one. Lovita herself found your performance inspiring. She has deemed you worthy of her blessing. Do not be greedy. Poor lad. I could give you peace, you know. But no. You gotta keep silent, don't you? Where do they flee to? You stubborn rat! P please stop! Ah, oh, here to see your friend, have ya? Come and join him if you like. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Good. He just 
Screams. Uh, should have sent him to Moonrise with the rest for all the good he's beaten. I want to watch that weird priest next door. Sounded like he was beating something up. Oh, yeah, beating it good. What? The prisoner! Please, let me out. There's no reason for this. Helsin, I, I don't know. He, he, he changed into a bear, but I lost sight of him. I don't know if he's still alive. That's all I know. P please, get me out of here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please, hurry. Thank you. I, I, I better go before they catch us. I should be able to make it to the grove on my own. They need to know they're in danger. Yes. It should be here somewhere. They said there was a hidden passage underneath this temple. The place was supposed to be abandoned, but when we arrived, Watch your step down by the pens. Wargie's been getting fat on your kind lately. What are they delaying for? Can't we just swarm the forest? Drow wants to know exactly where those adventurers came from. What are they doing? Hey, 
Keep your hands steady, three. <laughs> Make it squeal again. We're juicing it up. The beast came in here with those robbers, killed Dink and Mince too. Boss is thinking of serving it to the wargs. And it makes funny noises. We made it squeal. Look, look, you'll see. Give me that rock. I'll show you. Spill some blood. Breathing, despite everything. Shouldn't have made me your enemy.
Very well. place. Viscera. One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but goblin guts are quite far down the list. You aided a bear without knowing if it would savage you. <laughs> a true friend of nature. Or perhaps a lunatic. Either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. Yes, but just Halson will suffice. I'm becoming to demand honorifics from the one who saved my hide. I must admit, I didn't expect anyone would come to my aid. Who in their right mind would infiltrate a goblin-infested temple? Unless... Uh, that look in your eyes. I've seen it before. Are you feeling all right? Father, preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The Mind Flayer's spawn. But... something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the Absolute like the true souls do. How is this possible? But I wouldn't want to place all my faith in blind luck. It's no coincidence that you found me here, I'll wager. You're after a cure for this parasite. I've been studying these parasites for a while now. Ever since I discovered these so-called true souls are infected with them, someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. They're using them to exert control over the infected. I'm sorry to say, I can't undo that magic, which means I can't cure you. But that doesn't mean I can't help. I didn't find what I came here for, a way to remove the tadpoles. But I found the next best thing. I found out where they come from. That must be where these enchantments are placed on them. And it's where you'll find your cure. No, this is... different. Altered. The magic used is beyond me. It's either not of this world or so ancient as to be lost to even nature's memory. I overheard that the cultists are sending all of their captives to Moonrise Towers. Innocents go in, true souls come out. Given that all of these true souls are infected, it has to be the source for this magic. If you want to find a cure, you must head there and discover how the tadpoles are being manipulated. I wish I could, but there's still work I've yet to finish. Blood I've yet to spill. I've no right to ask more of you. But if you could help me, I'd be free to join your journey to Moonrise. I cannot allow these butchers to threaten my grove. The natural order must be protected. My thanks. If you prevail, I'll owe you the debt of a lifetime. 
Rare is the beast that survives decapitation. Help me eliminate the drow Minthara, the hobgoblin draw Ragslin, and that perversion of a priestess, Gut. They are the ones holding these parasites together. Remove them, and nature will cure itself. Be warned. My presence could make things more difficult. I can only restrain my bear form so much. I won't be able to help but attack goblins. If I join you, we'll likely have to slaughter this entire place. You may want to use discretion when approaching the goblin leaders. So be it. May Sylvanus lend us nature's fury. Progress. What am I to do? Take care of you. Don't waste a step. 